Hey guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley. Um, last week, I put out like a poll and had asked you guys on Instagram and YouTube if you guys wanted to see like a marathon clean with me because they are doing so well here on YouTube. And it was like 50-50. So I was completely shocked because these videos do so well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it and try it um, and just see how it does. I did put a little twist on it and I'm gonna kick it old school and do like a throwback to some of my earlier videos and this was so fun to edit because my house has changed so much my hair my teeth everything so definitely be watching for those things as you guys watch these videos and I get this is a long video so if you can't sit down for an hour and watch it turn it on and clean with me and just have the music and the motivation of it um, if you're new I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button down below and and then click the notification bell so that you're alerted every time I post a new video. Now let's get into cleaning. Hey guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I'm filming a clean with me, but this is gonna be a little bit deeper clean than you've seen me do lately. Um, my kitchen needed a good wipe down and I went ahead and started with my white cabinets. I know they don't look dirty from this angle or from the filming, but I promise you they have fingerprints. It's white. It's going to get dirty. And I am using my ETH cloth and I'll have my link down below. So click on that and that will take you straight to their website. So if you just want to buy a few, if you want to test it out, if you want to buy a whole package, the mop, whatever, go check out that down in my description box. And I'll also have my coupon code listed down below there. They extended it for one more month, so this is definitely the time to buy if you guys are interested in checking those out. Now that I've wiped down all the top cabinets, I'm going to go ahead and work down on the lower ones and you'll see me just work my way around the kitchen. They get so dirty. You can see me scrubbing right where that little lip is. It's like where spills or dust holds or whatever, gunk, food. And so you'll see me scrub really hard on those areas. In this dream of your own go ahead and rinse the rag out and these rags are made to clean and sanitize with just water so I'm gonna wet it kind of wring it out fold it up and then I'm gonna start working on my backsplash my backsplash doesn't get very dirty and I'm kind of surprised um, in our last house we didn't have a backsplash and we just had like tan paint and it always seemed to get dirty um, so I don't know what it is about here but it doesn't but I like to just give it a good wipe down occasionally and like my windowsill so that's what I'm gonna work on right now and when you wake up, you know what you need to do. Just cross your eyes. Someone's been waiting for you. When I'm doing a deeper clean, I do like to actually move the items off my countertop so that I can really clean it and not miss a spot. So you'll see me as I kind of work my way around in my kitchen. I'm just putting it all onto my island. So I went through the other rag into my laundry room and now I'm grabbing a new one and rinsing it out. And for my countertops, I love this Method Daily Granite and I don't need it because the rag does clean my countertop, but I love it for the smell. I think it smells so good. So you'll see me throughout kind of use products that way. I do like to wet the rag still though. You can use the rag dry and I've never had an issue doing it that way, but I feel like my countertop has some type of a sticky film on it and when I wet the cloth down, I don't, so that's how I've been using it. Now 
Now I'm pulling out the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser and I love to use this for like my stove, even inside my microwave and I also use that in my sink when I deep clean my sink. I feel like it works really well so I sprayed that and let it sit for a second and then I'm grabbing a rag and wetting it and this is my e-cloth for the stove and if you can see it has different colors and that's because there's different textures in it and there's a rougher one that is made to like help get up the harder um, like baked on stuff onto your um, stove top but it will not scratch so there are some really cool e-cloths a lot of them I mix and match but there's a few that have those scrubbers built in that I say for the particular piece and then I'm grabbing my method um, once again just for smell and I'm gonna wipe the top off I really like using the Method Granite countertop cleaner on my stainless. I feel like it polishes it really well. And once again, I'm just using like a damp e-cloth to wipe it on and to just to clean it off. I could stay awake till the night is through with you by my side, with you by my side. Though we've only now, if your stainless steel like refrigerator is super dirty, you can grab the e-cloth for stainless steel. And once again, it has those built-in scrubbers that won't scratch. And so I'm going to show you here how I do that. I wet it, and then you can just kind of wipe it down like so. And then I'm going to go do my refrigerator real fast and wipe it down. Make sure there's no food or anything on it. There for you. The night is young. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? Till we fall asleep The night is young Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? And then I'm going to come back in with like the blue window polishing cloth to come in and dry it down and it just removes any streaks that were there. And now I'm going to clean my dishwasher the exact same way. Won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me? We do it on repeat Now that my kitchen's had a full wipe down, I'm going to take a damp e-cloth and start wiping down all my decor and then slowly putting it back where it belongs. Um, e-cloth also does come with a dry duster rag that you can use and I feel like it does work really well but in the kitchen I like to use a damp one just to clean anything off that's gotten stuck to it. Around and you stumble in the dark. You kept pushing on, but then you went too far. When your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost, everything is wrong. You feel like it's your fault. Just remember. I've been getting a ton of questions about my white trays and that's like my soap dish and then the ones that my white canisters are sitting on and then there's also another size. It came as a three tiered serving tray and I have that in my Amazon store and the link will be in my description box. And then real fast, this is a brand new candle I just bought from Ross and I wanted to share it with you guys. It says love never fails and it smells amazing. It's not strong but it's a clean scent and it was only $7.99. And it wasn't like some big, bold, bright color. I love having no color, especially in my kitchen. So when I found the jar that was so pretty and I loved the smell and it was only $7.99, I just felt like it was a win-win and I wanted to share it with you guys. Now I'm going to clean off my island just like I do my countertops. Just remember, I will be there for you, baby. Now I'm going to head into my little dining nook. I don't think it's technically like a, a separate room, so I just call it my nook. And I'm going to pull all the chairs out. I like to give this rug a good vacuum at least once a week, if not more often. It just depends on how much we've been sitting here eating. So I'm going to clear off the table and I'm using the Dollar Tree like in dust pledged cleaner to wipe off my table. Remember. 
now I'm going to use the same rag and the same um, Dollar Tree pledge cleaner just to wipe down these shutters. They really don't hold a lot of dust, but I still like to do it on occasion just to make sure they stay clean. And then I'm going to head over and do the same thing to like my farmhouse wood sign. I just like to dust these areas really well because nobody wants dust in the area that they're like eating in. Now I'm going to vacuum my dining room rug really well with my Dyson Animal. I think it's like a V6 cordless and I love this vacuum. I always get questions, is it worth the money? I feel like it is. I don't even have a broom inside my house now because it works so well on like rugs, carpets, and most importantly, my hardwood floors. So um, if you guys are curious about that, once again, it's in my Amazon store, so click on the link below. And once I'm finished vacuuming, I'm just gonna put the chairs back where they belong. We have fun. This is the wood polish cleaner I've been using and now I'm taking it into the living room with me and I've just been spraying it on the rag and now I'm going to wipe down my fireplace because it is something that holds a lot of dust for some reason so I'm going to give it a good wipe down. I'm also going to use it on my door. I like to polish this a lot just because I never want that wood to dry out and I just feel like it keeps it conditioned. Now I'm grabbing my window cleaner, which is also from the Dollar Tree, and then my window e-cloth rag, and it's the same one that I used on my refrigerator earlier just to wipe down my glass pieces. Now I'm headed into my living room and I'm going to give my sectional just a good fluff and chop the pillows. Um, you guys ask me about my sofa a lot too. It's from Ashley Furniture and we have loved having it. I do like to vacuum our sofa, not because um, hair or anything, Tiger doesn't shed, but we do eat in here and have snacks so I like to vacuum up crumbs. And let's be real, I just love the vacuum lines. work on getting all my wood floors back into throughout my house. I do get a lot of questions about um, the vacuum staying charged and I will say I can vacuum my entire house like wood floors, carpets, rugs, you name it, all on one charge and I have it set on max which means it has a shorter life and I think that's like 20 minutes max. 
but that has never been an issue for me when I'm done using it. I just hang it back up and that's actually its charger. Um, but I do vacuum typically from start to finish without hanging it up to charge and I can vacuum my entire house. What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine Yes, I ran out of town There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D Now I'm headed in with my e-cloth mop And I'm gonna wet um, the mop head and then rinse it out and this just makes it so that it's safe with the wood floor so it's not just drenching the wood floor that's why I'm wringing it out right there and I love this mop I get tons of questions I've sold a ton of these on the site and everybody loves them it cleans up dirt it cleans up footprints it has never streaked ever and my floors look gorgeous when I'm done mopping every time and they are never ever sticky once I'm done cleaning them this way. So you faded out while I watched it down, obsessed with myself. Wanna hit the reverse on what's broken. Can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning? so bad about that so why won't you follow why won't you follow me home i know i can't make you mind yes i ran out of town there's no hope for me i fell down the bottom so i fell down way deep but if i can't have the real you then let me make a 3d print Okay guys, and this is how it turned out. It looks and feels amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button down below so I know to make more. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love, love, love to have you. So please hit that red button. You guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I shoot in the dark, so I miss my time. Hey guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do His Part. On this particular day, I needed to get some cleaning done and I also needed to film for you guys, but I was not in the mood for cleaning. So on those days, I like to change it up and instead of cleaning room by room, I went by category. So I'm gonna show you the three categories that I clean in and I swear it felt so much easier and faster. So if you're ever just in a slump, find a different way to clean and it definitely helps you out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each bedroom and make the bed and tidy up those spaces. And then even if you just get through category one, you at least have everything in your house picked up versus if I were just to clean my entire bedroom and bathroom and then get tired, then only that room got clean. So sometimes working by categories kind of makes it seem easier and it's less daunting. And I just, I even finish so much faster than I normally do. So it definitely made a huge difference. So like I said, I'm gonna go room to room, I'm gonna make the beds, and then anything that is not in its home, I'm gonna put it there. I know that we can go higher If we keep our faith, if we keep our faith Sometimes I'm like a whisper in a riot But I grow stronger, keep believing in me Say you believe in your belief.
eyes and pretend that I'm not here. All these empty faces talking about problems, I don't care. I can't wait till sundown cause my body's aching. I just wanna dance, I just wanna dance. Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat, everybody's carefree, everybody's carefree. Don't you wanna party? Standing in the crowd feeling heartbeat, don't you wanna party? Don't you wanna party? Now I'm going to move on to category number two, which is wipe everything down and clean the bathrooms. And since I'm already in the kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe down the sink since I finished tidying everything up in here. But it just kind of, it's a smooth um, transition into it. And I feel like you get some momentum building, just picking things up and seeing you're getting stuff done. And then you can head a little bit into the deeper clean. So now I'm going to clean out the sink and then go through each room and bathroom and wipe things down as needed. Counting every moment till the weekend comes. Anytime you see me using a cleaning cloth, those are my e-cloth rags and you only need water to clean with them. Um, I will have my link down below in my description box for that. And when I head into the bathroom, all my products are from the Dollar Tree. I love that. I like to keep products underneath each bathroom sink so I'm not hauling them around. So if you have any questions about that, they are all from the Dollar Tree.
Heading on to the third and final step, which is a vacuum and mop my floors. To vacuum, I have the Dyson Animal and I love it. It's a game changer. I used to have a shark and it worked really well, but it was so heavy and bulky. I can just take this off the wall, vacuum an area and hang it back up. And I can vacuum my entire house on max on one charge and I wanted to show you guys that. So you guys see me, you know, I'm not going from cleaning a room to cleaning a bathroom. Like I take my vacuum off the wall and literally vacuum my entire house and you guys can see that and it doesn't die at all. And then I'm going to mop my floors and I'm going to mop with my e-cloth mop and it's just like my cleaning rags. It only requires water and I know that's like shocking. You guys have a hard time understanding that but I promise your floors are never sticky and they're never streaky and it works so well and it's lightweight. So definitely click on my e-cloth um, link down below if you want to check that out. Stepping out, it's Friday night How I'm longing for this day Yes, I'm single, oh, we want to mingle And my friends are much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's cleaning video. It was a little bit different than what I normally film, but I thought I'd change it up for you guys. 
Um, also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I would really love for you to head over there and follow me on that social media account. And if you're not subscribed here, please consider doing so. I would love to have you. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Duo's part. If you're new, my name's Ashley, and I recently, as of yesterday, just got Invisalign. So if you're new and hadn't heard about that and I sound a little funny, that's why I promise I'll get better. Um, the day that I cleaned this was actually yesterday, and so if I look like I'm in pain, it's probably me because I am. And I will definitely keep you guys updated on my journey because you guys all acted like you wanted to know about it. So look out for those during future vlogs. Um, as you can see, my bedroom was already picked up. Most of my house is going to look like that. We're very clutter free and we clean as we go. But I had had my nieces in town and all my white stuff just had fingerprints or looked dirty. So I started off in my master bedroom and just wiped everything down. In case you're new and you're curious about what I'm using to clean, I use e-cloth rags and method cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, and I'll have those linked down below in my Amazon store if you want to check it out. I personally do not feel like a room is clean until the floors are vacuumed and I love vacuuming and it makes me happy so you will always see me finish cleaning a room by vacuuming. Now I'm gonna head on into my daughter's bedroom and she normally always helps me clean her room. And I think the last three videos I posted, she hasn't, but my nieces were in town and she had been visiting my mom's house. And then today was Nani's day, which is Chase's mom's house. So she's over there playing while she was giving mommy a day off since I had my Invisalign put in. I don't know why you're stressing, but I know that you will find it out. I do like to give the doors a good wipe down and even like the inside of the door casing. You can tell the girls just like kind of hold on to it when they walk out of a room and since it's white it just shows dirt and so I always give those a good wipe down when it's needed. You take, take your
A couple days before I had actually filmed this cleaning video, I had already cleaned the bathroom, so her like toilet and shower were still good to go, but I feel like her sink is always dirty just with kids washing their hands, and I don't know what it is with kids and toothpaste, but there's always toothpaste in the sink, so I could probably clean the sink daily if needed. And then once I'm finished cleaning the bathroom, of course, I'm going to grab my Dyson cordless vacuum. I'll have it linked down in my Amazon store and I'm going to vacuum her room out and then be finished. After cleaning Savannah's room, I always head into my beauty room because it is always dirty. Um, this is where I get ready and where I do a lot of my filming and editing. And that white vanity, I love. I got it from a boutique. A lot of you guys ask for 30 bucks and painted it white. But because I use like a liquid foundation, it's always dirty. So I like to wipe it down. I like to dust off my light bulbs. And then I'll go over and wipe down my floor mirrors um, just from like fingerprints from the girls touching it. And you got me too You can ride out of the blue I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Now I'm going to head on into my desk area and sometimes I just wipe around things and other times I take it completely off. It's kind of like an every other week type deal. And once again, if you're new, I'm using my e-cloth um, window rag and then I'm using a vinegar spray from the Dollar Tree and I love it.
I'm vacuuming, I thought I would answer a quick question because I have been getting tons and tons of messages about my tan. This is actually natural because it's summertime and I'm outside with my daughter swimming all the time. But I will say if you can at least get a base tan and then put on a self tanner, it goes on much smoother and nicer. So if you can just sit outside and get a little bit of sun and then do your self tanner, um, that will definitely help it look more real. I did clean my guest bedroom up after my nieces left, but I also like to just give the carpets a good um, vacuum when I have the vacuum out by the glam room because I love walking by that room. It's like the only room that stays perfect to my house, so I like to see the vacuum lines. Now I'm heading into my guest um, bathroom and I'm going to give it a good wipe down. Um, if, once again, if you're new, I'll link up above how I clean bathrooms and I use all Dollar Tree products because they're cheap and you can get them really quick at the store and I like to keep my products underneath each bathroom sink because I have three bathrooms in my house so I just feel like when they're more affordable I can do that. Now that I'm in my kitchen, I'm going to go ahead and rinse out a few dishes and get them put in the dishwasher so that I can get it started and unloaded before dinner tonight. Um, here in a second, you're going to see me hold up my new dishwasher detergent, and I really like it. I didn't pick it, but the one I ordered they didn't have at my Walmart when I did my pickup, and so they put that one in there instead. But I really like it, and if you guys haven't tried the Walmart Grocery Pickup, use my link down below and you'll get $10 off. It is an awesome service. Now I'm going to give my countertops and appliances a quick wipe down before heading on into my dining room. And right here I'm using the Method Granite Cleaner and I love it for stainless steel. Not really sure what I should do.
When I clean up my dining room area, it's more like a nook more than a room. I like to wipe down my table and then my shutters that are on the wall. And then I also like to pull out the chairs when people have been over and vacuum my rug really well. Now going into my living room, I'm going to wipe down my fireplace because if you guys have been around a while, you guys know it's always dusty. And then I'm going to dust my front door and that picture frame. And then I'm going to go over into my sectional and I like to fluff it because it gets sad looking. And then I'm going to do a vacuum of the entire living room area. And then I'll be mopping. Even though I'm wasting time, I don't want to be trapped in a box. Trying to be like the rest when I'm not. I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in more in conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with you Yeah I'm on my way now Okay, so I'm gonna grab a drink of water real fast because I was thirsty from all this cleaning. And then you guys have gone crazy for my mop. Um, I have sold so many of them and every one of you guys always write me and tell me how much you guys love them. So thank you so much for your support. If you wanna learn more about it, 
I have a link down in my description box where you can go to the website and they're doing a coupon code for me right now so you can click and get that and all you do is wet it and clean with water and you guys constantly ask me how many times I have to wet it. I just do it that one time for my size house and that gets my living room, my kitchen, my dining nook area, and my hallways and that is it. It is quick and easy. Just keep on doing what you do Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm absolutely loving YouTube and I appreciate all the love and support you guys have given me and all the sweet comments. You guys are absolutely the best. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I wanted to share with you what it looks like, a typical day of cleaning. And not every day is the same. A lot of things I do as needed, but a lot of this I do every single day. And I had just finished getting my makeup done. You can tell this is morning, my hair's still wet, but that's typically what I do. I let it air dry while I clean up. So I'm gonna head on over into my desk area. And those are my e-cloth rags sitting on my desk and that's what I like to clean with because I only need water and then I can throw them in the washer and they're ready to go for the next day. But I'm just going to wipe down my desk and make sure it's nice and clean. Hey, I'm hoping that you will be mine. Turn my life around. Now this blue rag, you're gonna see me wipe everything off and it basically dries it to make sure there's no streaks or anything like that. And then once it's a little damp, I like to run it across my computer screen and it cleans it really, really well. Now I'm going to head over into my vanity area and I wipe that down every week if not multiple times a week. You guys know it gets so dirty. Luckily it cleans up really well um, but just with me getting my makeup right there on that white paint it does get dirty and then I'm going to clean both of my mirrors with the e-cloth rags. I just got one thing on my mind. Baby one day I'm hoping that you will be mine. Turn my life around. So in the mornings I like to go into our guest bathroom and tidy it up and I just do what's needed just for that day. I think guests sometimes just show up unexpectedly and you want it clean. So if the counters need to be wiped off, I do it. If the mirror needs to be clean, I do it. If it doesn't need to be touched at all, then I don't. But I still like to go by there and just check and make sure it's clean and ready. into my master bedroom and my bed is something that I make every single day I feel like I just have a lazy day or unproductive day if my bed's not made so I've learned just to wake up now it's not the very first thing I do you can tell I've showered I've had breakfast my hair's still wet but I like to get it done before lunchtime and it just makes the whole day go so much better having dreams in a dream I wonder why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind there's no way i can undo what i've done can we be strangers against our fresh like a morning what's so bad about that so why won't you follow why won't you follow me home I know I can't make you mine, yes I ran out of time, there's no hope for me I fell down the bottom, so I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a 3D print Now 
I'm going to take those same ink cloth rags to wipe down the tables next to my bed. Um, we leave drinks there at night, so we'll get those rings or it gets dusty. Now, I don't clean these tables every single day, but maybe every two days or every three days. I just like to wipe them down before they get filthy, so it's never like a hard, deep clean. It's just an easy wipe up and done. They don't know what it feels like, but I do. So you faded out while I watched it down Obsessed with myself Wanna hit the reverse on what's broken Now I'm gonna head over to our dresser that our TV sits on and I will say this gets so dusty and I hadn't realized I hadn't wiped it down in a while so it really needed a good wipe down and then you can see a little tiger right there working hard while I'm working hard. <laughs> Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine. Yes, I ran out of town. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. So I fell down way deep. But if I can't have the real you, then let me make a 3D print. I also have Savannah make her bed and most days she makes it by herself a couple times a week I like to go in there and just help her and then at least once a week I like to just make it for her to give her a break I know I love when Chase makes my bed so I don't have to do it so I try to do that at least once a week and then I'll wipe down her nightstand over there but I do not have her clean up her room or pick it up because she's just going to be playing in there all day anyways. But I do like to get the bed made for her. It's the time to move on. You know so I why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mind. Yes, I ran out of town. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. So I fell down way deep. But if I can't have the real you, then let the last chore that I like to do every morning is to start a load of laundry. I feel like it takes me all day. I do one load of laundry a day, but I just start it in the mornings and then I finish it out through the day. And I'm using my homemade laundry detergent and I'll link that video for you. And then I always use this blue downy. I think it smells amazing. And then I'll show you my scent boosters and they're just the Arm & Hammer and they smell incredible. And when I pair that with my homemade laundry soap, it just works perfectly and it saves me money. Okay, now it's later in the day. It's after lunch. You can tell my hair's dry and actually curled. And so we like to eat lunch. And then after that, I like to clean up the kitchen and living room. I feel like this is the part of the day that if somebody's gonna show up, it's gonna be around now. So I like to go ahead and get the living area picked up. So if somebody does stop by, it doesn't look like a hot mess. <laughs> And now I'm going to light my fall candle. Don't judge me. It's actually an old one from last fall that I didn't use and I had saved in my kitchen island. And oh, they just make me so happy. And lately it's been like chilly and raining here. So it feels like fall. I have not put up fall decor, but I will definitely make a video on that. But I've at least been getting the smell in my home. I forgot to run my dishwasher the night before, so I'm going to go ahead and put in all the dishes that we used from breakfast and lunch. 
and get it in my dishwasher and then get it started so I can let it run throughout the day. I had mentioned a few cleaning videos back that I had been using the Cascade like orange uh, dishwashing detergent and I did not like it and I switched back over to the Palm Olive and it's cleaning so much better and it's not leaving like an orange stain in my dishwasher. But now I'm going to take my Method degreaser and clean out my stainless steel sink. I feel like it works really well on it. Five, six, seven, eight, dance the night away. I am ready for that heartbreak that's usually how it goes. I have done a billion mistakes before. Maybe I am going crazy. Say you feel the same now that we dancing. I'm taking my chances. I'm going like one, two, three, four. Looking at you when you're on the floor. Five, six, seven, eight. Ready for that heartbreak. Now I'm going to take my Method Daily Granite and then wet one of my e-cloths. I don't need the granite method. I just love the way it smells and I'd already bought it anyway so I might as well use it. Um, but I like to wipe down my countertops quite often. I typically do it after breakfast, after lunch, and then after dinner. Um, I don't mind it. It's calming to me so you probably will see me wipe down my countertops quite a bit. Now I'm going to clean my island the exact same way using the granite daily method and then my e-cloth. If you guys are curious and want to look into those or want to buy them, I have a link down below in my description box. Definitely click on that and you can learn more and see all the different types of packages or just single ones you can buy. Where you go, I follow. Let's go out and dance the night away. I am ready for the heartbreak, that's usually how it goes. I have done a billion mistakes before. Now I'm going to take a fresh wet e-cloth rag and go wipe down my dining room table from like breakfast and lunch. Now at night I typically or at least once a day will use like a wood polish just to make sure it's conditioned but I wipe down this table like three times a day so the other two times I just use the water and my e-cloth rag. Once I'm done cleaning up the dining room, I always head straight into the living room. And if you've watched any of my day in the life, you guys know we sit right there at that bar stool and eat lunch and watch TV. So that's why it's out. So I have to put the lamp back on it. And yes, we do that every day. I probably just need to buy TV trays, but I don't want to have to store them. So it's just what works. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my fireplace. Once again, I don't do this every day, but like the wiping down dusting was what I needed to do today. Sometimes it's just clean the windows. Sometimes it's just wash all the rugs. It's just on this particular day, it was wipe things down.
not going to do a full vacuum of the house, but I do like to vacuum my wood floors like midday. Um, we come in and out a lot, so in the mornings I let Savannah ride her bike and play, and even after lunch, we've had, you know, we've made meals, there's crumbs, Tiger comes in and out all day. So I do vacuum my house multiple times a day, but right now I'm just doing the wood floors. Lot of questions about our wood floors and the builder had built this house before we found it so we don't know the color or anything I will say there are three different size planks and we love that um, one little tip is do not get dark hardwood floors if you don't like cleaning them because everything shows so that's why I vacuum so often is because you can see it now my mom has some that aren't as shiny and have more of a gray tone in them and they don't show dirt at all. But if you get this shiny dark wood, you will see everything that hits them. I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. And just like my last morning chore is laundry, my last afternoon chore is the laundry. And so now I'm gonna take it out of the washer and put it into the dryer. People talk and tell what you wanna hear now. But they all disappear, they will let you down so. We better stick together, let's come whatever. When I come in home tonight, we're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. Okay, now it's after dinner, Chase is home, this is evening time, I want to say it's a little after 7, and typically we're still outside talking and hanging out with the neighbors. I normally don't start this until like 8 or 8.30, but it was a rainy evening here, so we're inside, so I'm going to go ahead and start my routine a little bit early, and I always take my laundry into my beauty room and get it folded in there. For my evening cleaning, I keep it pretty simple. All I do is a very few things. I make sure they're calming and relaxing because it's the last thing I want to do in the evening. I'm tired, but they're things that need to get done before the next day starts. And so you can just see how I finish up my day. People talk and tell what you want to hear now. But they will disappear, they will let you down. So we better stick together. Let's come with
After folding all the laundry, I'm going to put my items away that belong in this room, and then I take that basket and Chase and Savannah will put their items away themselves. Now I'm going to vacuum all the bedroom floors. Um, I like going to sleep knowing it's just nice and fresh and tidy. There's no crumbs left out. I feel like it helps with bugs and there's nothing better than waking up to a house with like fresh vacuum lines. And now I'm going to vacuum my hardwood floors again because they do get dirty with us coming in and out and tiger. And then this time I'll go ahead and vacuum my rugs and sofa as well. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they invite a mind near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out course as always the very last thing that I always do is mop my floors so they're nice and shiny again from the whole day get little tiger's paw prints gone I'm using my e-cloth mop and I always 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 get tons of questions about it it's just like my rags you only need water and guys I'm only getting it wet that one time I always get comments how many times do you go back and re-wet it I don't have to for my size house. Now, if you have a bigger house, you might need to. And remember, I have to keep stopping and setting up the camera different spots. So it's probably even drying out quicker. And I still have enough water in it to mop all of my living room, my dining room, and my hallways. 
Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and go down into my description box if you want to check out any of my rags. The e-cloth link is there. Um, also click on my Amazon store link. You'll find all the things that are in my home and that I wear, all my favorites, and I love when you guys support my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Definitely let me know down in the comments section if you guys made it till the end or if you cleaned with me, if you just sat and watched it. If you did watch it, it was crazy to see how different my house is. Like bedrooms were in different locations, the beds were turned around. Um, there's some parts that my house looks so bare because I hadn't added like the blue, gray and golden. I don't know, it was just so much fun to watch and create for you guys. So definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed it and if you want more of these and I can even go back older. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.